In the late 1950s, Calder became so prolific that he actually required another studio space on his 1,800-acre property in Roxbury, Connecticut, which was built for him by the respected Connecticut builder and architect, Clifford Hirsch. Clifford and Calder, along with their families, formed a unique and valuable friendship, which was marked by the exchange of gifts, including this one-of-a-kind toy made for Clifford Hirsch's son, Calvin, in 1958. An unrivaled example of Calder's ingenuity, the push toy was given to Calvin as a toddler and has been cherished ever since. This whimsical, heartfelt creation, an experimental work that captures the essence of childhood, as well as showcasing Calder's ability to manipulate metal whilst retaining balance. Using found materials and cans of his favoured Ballantine beer, which Calder often shared with Clifford in the studio, we can imagine Calder lovingly piecing together this bevy of materials, combining textures and fragments of text on tin into a kinetic assemblage. Calder started making toys when he was a child, and it remained an enormous part of his practice throughout his lifetime. Indeed, in the late 1950s, when he was focusing on monumental constructions, Building toys gave Calder the chance to experiment on a smaller scale and make work that, much like his mobiles, was viewer-driven in terms of the delivered experience. This unique work will be offered by Bonhams New York on November the 10th, along with other important works from the Hirsch family collection.